Hi folks, Mr. Long here yet again to talk about generalized transformations. By generalized transformations, what I mean is transformations of some shape. Not the transformation of a square root or a quadratic or uh, a division function. It's a general transformation, which means it's just some shape. Okay, some shape. So here's what we're going to do. Here's the question. What transformation will transform the maximum into a minimum at 2 comma negative 5. Once again, I think I made a mistake, or not a mistake, I didn't add enough information. We're going to transform f. Okay, we're going to transform f. So in this case, I'm going from original to transformed. Now, the general transformation equation is y equals a f k bracket x minus p plus q. So let's look at some things here. The first thing I probably need to do is to find the coordinates of that maximum. Let's do that. The coordinates of the maximum are 2 and 4. Okay, the coordinates of the maximum are 2 comma 4. So let's compare what we've got. This is our x naught and y naught, because that's on the original. This is our x tran transposed or transformed and y transformed. OK, so what are some things I can take from this? Well. The first thing I'm going to look here is I'm changing a maximum into a minimum. Okay, so a maximum looks like this. The minimum then looks like this. Right away, I know it's a form of reflection. What type of reflection? Is x being reflected or is y being reflected? Looks to me like y is being reflected. What does that tell me? That a is a negative. What Negative a value would be the most simple one, negative 1, okay, an a value of negative 1. But then I don't have to stretch it at all or scale it, as we say. There's the first thing. So I know a is a negative because it's reflected, and it, a min maximum is going to a minimum. What else do I know? Well, I'm going to compare some things. x equals 2 there, x equals 2 there. So if x equals 2 is going to x equals 2, what do we know about x naught and xt? They're the same. So there is no transformation at all for x. Okay, no transformation at all. So now I, can, I know in that case, what does that mean? That means this. It means, oh, sorry about my dog barking. k equals 1 and p equals 0, right? There's no effect on x. Again, I'll, I'll just go over that again. x equals 2 is the transformed x. x naught, the, the original uh, value, is 2. There's no change in x. k multiplies. So if I don't change x, I have to multiply by 1, and I have to add or subtract 0. Okay, that's the only way I get no change in x. So what am I left with? Well, I know it's reflected. A is negative 1. Then I get Q. Okay, so let's go through this now. So there's some things here to remember. I know that this here represents x naught. I know that this here represents y naught. Okay, so, and this is y transposed. y transposed equals, or transformed equals, a y naught plus q. So, I already look over here, and I can see my y naught is 4, and my y transformed is negative 5. I picked a at negative 1. Why did I do that? 
because I knew the maximum turned to a minimum. There was a vertical reflection. I could pick negative 4, negative 8, negative 10. I know it's reflected, so I'm just going to pick negative 1 and then solve for Q. Here we go. So Y transformed, I know is negative 5. A, I'm suggesting I can make negative 1. The Y original value is 4 plus Q. Now I just solve for Q. Q is going to equal negative 5 plus 4. Okay, so how did I get that? That works out to negative 4 when I multiply. And so then I'm going to have to add 4 to both sides. Okay, negative 5 plus 4, which gives us Q equals negative 1. Okay, Q equals negative 1. So the final equation is going to be Y equals A is negative 1, F of X, there's no change at all to X, minus 1. Okay, so um, now I can check and see if I'm right. Right, so I can do that. Um, so let's see here. I know that X is at 2, right? So what am I going to do? Take the original. So that we know is Y original. That's worth 4. Negative 1 times Y4 is negative 4. Minus 1 is negative 5. And that is exactly what I wanted. Okay, folks, this is one that you may want to rewind and go through and, and watch it again. All right, so again, if you want to do that, go back through, rewind, and go over again. And, and eventually, you might want to try this one on your own. Okay? Have a good night.